Takafumi goes to see his uncle in the hospital who has been in a coma for 17 years and has woken up. He arrives at the hospital and he notices that his uncle is speaking in a language he does not understand and wonders if his uncle has gone insane. His uncle apologizes and tells him that he is using a language he normally uses when he is in a coma and in another world. The nurse suddenly comes in to check his temperature and she leaves Takafumi in the room with his uncle. His uncle suddenly recognizes him and tries to do a spell to prove to him that he has magical powers. Takafumi begins to mock him and suddenly he sees the cup and the bottle of water floating in the air and he becomes surprised. He tells Takafumi that he has the power to perform magic. Takafumi asks him how he does it but he ignores the question and asks Takafumi about who is winning the game wars and asks about Sega. Takafumi becomes surprised and tells him that Sega is outdated and tells him about the popular games that are currently dominating the industry. Takafumi also tells his uncle that Sega stopped making consoles and he becomes very angry and gives Takafumi his jotter to read. Takafumi reads the words in the jotter and begins to cry and beg his uncle that he wishes to unread all he has read. His uncle suddenly uses a spell to wipe his memory to prevent him from remembering all that is contained in the jotter. A week later, Takafumi and his uncle decided to make a living using YouTube videos by allowing his uncle to use his magic to perform some tricks so they could upload his video. Takafumi and his uncle move in together, and his uncle begins to wonder that the room he is staying in is too big for him. Takafumi then informs his uncle that he was living with someone, which made them Google about room sharing. His uncle becomes really surprised at how things have evolved and begins to eat. Later that day, Takafumi begins to do the dishes, and his uncle begins to tell him a story of how he was almost hunted down in the magical world and how he saved the life of a girl. Takafumi begins to imagine how she looked and wondered why his uncle took off after meeting her. His uncle goes online to his YouTube page and begins to read some comments from people mocking his channel and saying his magical powers are all fake. His uncle becomes angry, but Takafumi calms him down and wonders why video game consoles have a lot of effect on his life because he has always been talking about the Sega console. His uncle suddenly shows him a phone he would love to have online and tells Takafumi of a spell he used to invent a jug back in the magical world he has been talking about. Takafumi suddenly sees his uncle display a video using magic of how he created the invention and Takafumi becomes very surprised. His uncle also tells him about how the people hated him for his creation and tried to attack him after breaking the vase. Takafumi also sees the girl in the video and notices that she is beautiful and his uncle has run away from her. They both get a notification about the phone his uncle wanted to get and they notice he does not have time to get the phone again. His uncle becomes very unhappy and jumps out of the window. Takafumi rushes after him and notices that his uncle could fly. His uncle then disappears and then tells Takafumi that he will be back soon. 30 minutes later, his uncle returns with the phone he had always wanted. Takafumi uses the avenue to ask his uncle about some items he would want his uncle to get for him. Takafumi began to order some items. Takafumi gets a package and asks his uncle to give him a knife. Takafumi notices that his uncle gave him a strange looking dagger and his uncle tells him and shows him where he got the dagger from. His uncle also shows him some rings and Takafumi begins to ask about them and how he got them. His uncle then talks to him about relationships and tells him how he found his first love, which is a Sega game console. Takafumi begins to wonder if his uncle has a life outside video games. He also watches how his uncle separates a woman from two brothers in the video clip his uncle plays for him. His uncle also tells Takafumi about another lady who had saved him and how he gave her a ring and placed it on her finger. Takafumi becomes surprised and asks him if he took up the responsibility after doing something outrageous. His uncle suddenly tells him how he sold the ring and how she went off with the money. His uncle then asks Takafumi to return the dagger back to the storage and they come up with another idea for their YouTube videos which got 2 million views. Takafumi and his uncle are indoors and his uncle continues to read bad comments about his videos online. His uncle decides to ignore them and read about the Sega game console in a magazine. His uncle suddenly 
suddenly goes out in the rain and becomes very angry because his popular game, Guardian Heroes, was not number one among the top games. He also wonders why the game was given 197th place among other games. Takafumi tells his uncle about another game in which his uncle has not played. His uncle suddenly tells him about an encounter he had in the other world. He plays a tape for Takafumi and Takafumi wonders why his uncle is always fighting each time he gets to a new village. He also sees a girl named Mabel who was trapped because her heart was frozen and his uncle killed the flame dragon. Takafumi becomes surprised and asks his uncle how he was able to defeat the flame dragon. Suddenly, Takafumi hears the doorbell and a package is brought in. His uncle becomes curious about what package was brought for Takafumi. Takafumi suddenly hands the game that was delivered to his uncle as his birthday gift after becoming worried that his uncle might be angry at him for spending too much. His uncle becomes very happy and asks him if he wants to play the game and Takafumi joins him. Later that night, Takafumi and his uncle are returning from where they went to get some items. His uncle suddenly tells him about a town in the other world. On getting home, his uncle tells him that he spent an entire New Year's Eve on Magna Stories and Takafumi asks him if he could still follow the story after 17 years. His uncle suddenly plays a video for him, showing him how New Year's Eve went in the other world. Takafumi becomes surprised as he sees that they are all having fun. Takafumi notices that his uncle went back to his room and asks him if that is all for the festival. Takafumi becomes frustrated and asks his uncle to play a game with him. While playing the game, his uncle tells him how Mabel came to his room. Takafumi pauses the game and becomes very angry. He tells his uncle to finish up the story and stop deceiving him that nothing had happened. His uncle then plays the video of how he confronted Mabel in his room and everything they talked about. Takafumi is very pleased and begins to think about how his uncle had built his relationship in the other world. Takafumi suddenly sees that his uncle rejected the sword and asks his uncle if he would join him for noodles. While eating, Takafumi tells his uncle about the shows they have cancelled while he was in a coma and his uncle gets very angry. The following year, his uncle is sitting outside their residence as a lady passes and sees him talking to himself. She ignores him and continues walking. Suddenly, she sees Takafumi, who was her classmate at school, and wonders how he has grown. Takafumi invites her to his apartment, but she says she wants to drop the groceries and she promises to come afterwards. Fujimiya suddenly goes to his apartment and she receives a mail from Takifumi telling her to go in as the door is open. He goes into the apartment and begins to look around. Suddenly, his uncle comes in and rushes at her, trying to erase her memories. But Takifumi comes in and saves her from his uncle. She suddenly asks him about his job and his uncle tells her that he is a YouTuber. He becomes angry and tries to convince Takafumi to leave his uncle because she thinks he is insane. His uncle then tells them about love and tells a story which makes Ujimiya cry and Takafumi reveals to her that it is a story from a video game and it makes her really angry at him. Takafumi's uncle suddenly rushes at her and reads her mind and she becomes seriously worried about Takafumi. She tries to convince Takafumi to leave his uncle but he refuses. Suddenly, the delivery man comes in with a very heavy package and asks him what is inside. His uncle then tells him that it is rice and they all become very angry. Takafumi informs his uncle that Fujimiya will be coming over and his uncle tells him that she is a good girl. Takafumi, in his mind, remembers that she had once tried to separate them. He suddenly notices that his uncle has mail and helps him to translate his mail to Japanese. Takafumi then informs his uncle that he is about to lose his job unless he meets with the YouTuber requirements of getting 1,000 subscribers. His uncle looks at his phone and sees that he has just till the end of the day to reach 1,000 subscribers. He looks at his profile, notices that he has just 812 followers, and he begins to think of ways to gain more subscribers. Suddenly, he gets a message from one of his subscribers and begins to insult them online. Takafumi notices that, and he becomes very angry and tells his uncle that is the reason they are leaving his channel. His uncle becomes very worried and tells him a story of a seal that has been protecting a village for 1,000 people and shows him how it all went down. His uncle tells him how the lady that had protected the village asked him to dinner and he rejected the offer. Takafumi becomes very angry at his uncle for always letting the ladies go in all his stories and he notices that his uncle is begging for more subscribers online. Takafumi becomes more annoyed at his uncle for asking people to subscribe to his channel and he explains to him how things are meant to be done, not by begging for subscribers. Suddenly, they both hear an alarming message on the laptop and they both see that his subscribers 
subscribers have begun to increase and they have all listened to him and decided to wait for more content. Fujimiya comes in and continues to attack Takafumi's uncle for being a YouTuber. She suddenly asks him about how he earns on YouTube. He explains every detailed information about YouTube, but she does not buy the idea. Fujimiya then tells his uncle about Takafumi not having an interest in a girlfriend and his uncle decides to help, but she yells at him, saying she does not need his help. Takafumi goes out and tries to get something from outside. Meanwhile, his uncle changes into a girl, claiming she is Takafumi's aunt and tries to get information from Fujimiya about her childhood experience with Takafumi. Takafumi goes back and notices a girl and immediately knows that it is his uncle. Takafumi then comes up with an idea to shoot a new video with his uncle's feminine form. After uploading the video, they go ahead to check the memories he had with Fujimiya and Takafumi. They both remember they had a rough childhood and they are surprised at what they see. Takafumi's uncle then proceeds to watch his gaming videos and notices that the game did not show. He becomes very annoyed, but Takafumi is happy that they will go viral. His uncle becomes angry and changes back to his normal form, which makes Fujimiya very scared. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, kindly like and subscribe to our channel.